So this beautiful home is up here in the Renton Highlands. And as you come in the front door, you have a small uh, an entry uh, closet so for coats and the like. And then you just brought immediately into a huge California great room that's just really expansive and really brings the whole family together. Uh, there's a uh, gas fireplace in the corner here. Uh, we'll get out into the deck there. And then we have a kitchen with a kitchen island. So you can set up uh, your living room and have the, the kitchen and the whole family together. Um, granite countertops, stainless steel uh, appliances, uh, the water and ice, uh, overrange microwave, you've got um, a double sink with just a beautiful uh, handle uh, with pull-out, uh, cabinets uh, for and a bunch of extras for paper towels and the like. Um, what's really pretty cool is you also have a nice little rack for your pots and pans uh, to hang down on. So I think that adds a nice touch. Some hanging chandeliers there that, that completes the kitchen. And now here's the view from the kitchen. You can just see the spaciousness of uh, the whole room with 10-foot ceilings and down lights. Really adds expansion. As we come out onto the, uh, the deck, a wonderful deck for entertaining. Uh, all the rails and all. Uh, this house was built in 2011. Uh, you've got a nice built-in bench. Uh, so you can just sit out here and enjoy the uh, just the peace and quiet. There's uh, a wetlands here, so you're not backed up against any neighbors. Um, and uh, a nice other little feature is around the corner of this deck, if we go over here, we can see how the gas has been piped out for a barbecue. So that's a real nice added feature. Uh, you've got a little run here on the side of the house. Fully fenced yard. Um, it's not really a appropriate for dogs. I'll go swimming through that uh, split rail fence down there. But certainly uh, um, you've got some opportunity to keep uh, everybody in check there. As we come back into the house, we'll complete the downstairs. Uh, again, off of the kitchen, a huge walk-in pantry. Uh, you can pretty much buy out Costco with that pantry and a half bath, guest bath, uh, so you're not always having to run upstairs. Um, there is also some additional storage um, around back here, and there's under the stairs you've got storage, and then off of the kitchen also you've got a two-car garage uh, with gar automatic garage door opener. So now you can uh, come in out of the rain and be able to bring the groceries in without any uh, trouble whatsoever. And now we're gonna, that completes the first level of this three-story house. Again, built in 2011, so everything is pretty new here. We're going to go up stairs. The first flight is fairly steep because of the 10-foot ceiling height on the first floor. And as you come up the top of the stairs, we're going to turn left into the master suite. And there's the master suite, a nice large room uh, that can fit a queen size bed, king size, whatever you need. Around to the right here, you're going to see a huge walk in closet with some built in racks for clothes. And then we're going to come over to a beautiful, well done five piece uh, master bathroom, tile floor, tile um, counter, double sinks with lots of uh, lighting overhead and a wonderful soaking tub. So on those hectic days, come home and start it up. You've got light above, above. it's coming in through some obscure windows, and but it, uh, you just have uh, the ability to just soak in that tub, let the water flow, uh, the toilet, and then finally, we're also gonna have a nice large um, shower. It's not, it's not phone boost to the size, but actually quite large with a massager up top there, and, uh, and then a linen closet here, so uh, for, 
uh, your uh, towels and such. As we leave the master suite, we're going to come in to bedroom number two. This is a good size bedroom, about average, really. Uh, you have wide blinds on this on this window, and you can see there's a, another closet there. The, the two other bedrooms on the second floor share this bathroom. It's got some nice wainscoting here, uh, a, 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 a door that goes out to the hallway for hallway access. Again, another double sink for this shared bathroom on the second floor. Uh, the toilet and a full tub are behind yet another door. And then we come in to the third bedroom that, uh, that shares that bathroom. So you don't have to go out to the hallway at all. Uh, you just can, uh, you can bring it from either of those uh, doors. We're going to step back out into the hallway of the second floor, and around the corner here is our laundry room with a with a wash sink, which is very handy. You're going to have some shelving, and then there's washer dryer and hookups uh, there. And then finally, as we uh, come up to uh, the there's yet, this is a surprise, one more flight of stairs, and so we're going to come up this flight of stairs to see what else is up here. This is a, a, an unusual and, and nice and different feature that most homes don't have. Nice uh, to the left, a nice small little uh, office, really, I guess. Um, and it's got, you know, a, a, a view of, of the neighborhood. From here you can see how it's very private. You come down a private lane uh, to the front, into the front of the house. Uh, so the, uh, the kids can be playing uh, out in the uh, lane, really, because there's no traffic. It's shared by a total of three homes. And then on the other side of this stairway that we just came up, it's an absolutely huge room. Great room, a playroom, uh, where most homes, they don't even have a closet. But this one does, so it now becomes a fifth bedroom. But you can also just pack a lot of toys in there, How, uh, or just use this one as the, the uh, fourth bedroom, uh, and um, the one across the hall is the playroom or an office. So many options with this home, that, uh, it, and not a space has been, uh, uh, has been wasted. It's about almost 2,900 square feet as we come down the stairs. Forgot to show you, this is an example of how every little space is used. And so you've got a linen closet now. We're back on the middle floor, and you've got a small little linen closet there as we look at the stairs going up the stairs and then the hallway going first past the laundry room, stair num uh, bedroom number three, the bathroom, and a couple more closets I forgot to show. Uh, that, uh, that's a linen closet there. Bedroom number two, We'll come back around bedroom, uh, the master bedroom, and back down to uh, the main floor. This home is just an absolutely uh, exquisitely built and maintained. The hardwood floor, uh, forgot to mention that, is uh, just an impeccable condition. All, uh, all of the windows that need to have blinds and other uh, levelers on them, so you have full privacy where you need it. So again, this home is looking for uh, is looking for a good tenant that uh, can take care of it and enjoys the ambiance of a gas fireplace, some down lighting, and a beautiful California great room that brings the whole family together. Just an exquisite uh, opportunity here.